The LDTC Integrated Controller combines the popular FL500 laser diode driver and ultra-stable WTC3243 temperature controller. It is available with 500 milliamp or 1 amp laser output. Independent cooling and heating current limits allow use of thermoelectric coolers or resistive heaters. Negative and positive temperature coefficient sensors are compatible. Electrostatic discharge safe handling protocols should be used when handling the LDTC. In this video, we'll set up the LDTC 0520 using an adjustable voltage power supply, a laser diode test load, a 10 kilo ohm thermistor, a thermoelectric, two multimeters, a function generator, and an oscilloscope. There are three power supply connections that must be made. The first is the power supply for the laser driver electronics and the laser diode. The second is the power supply for the temperature controller electronics. And finally, there is a power supply for the thermoelectric. The power supplies may be wired in one of three ways. Three separate supplies, tied temperature control supplies with a separate laser driver supply, single supply operation with all three power supply inputs tied. Before wiring, ensure the unit will be in the safe operating area. The laser diode driver half cannot dissipate more than 2 watts, and the temperature controller half cannot dissipate more than 9 watts. In this example, we will use single supply operation. Connect all three power supply leads to plus 5 volts. Using WCB301, connect the thermistor to sensor plus and sensor minus, and the thermoelectric to tech plus and tech minus. Place an ammeter in series with the tech for configuration. We will control the temperature set point locally, so the T-ref switch must be put to the internal position. Before powering the unit, turn all of the trim pots counterclockwise 12 turns to zero them out. This ensures that no current will flow to the loads when power is applied and will trigger the temperature control fail-safe circuit. Also ensure the LD enable switch is disabled. To monitor the temperature set point, Connect the voltmeter to set T mon and common. Switch on the power supply. The WTC power on LED and FL power LED will illuminate green. As soon as power is applied, the temperature controller is active. The failsafe circuit will reset the temperature set point to 1 volt if the temperature set point signal falls below 0.3 volts. This corresponds to 25 degrees C when using a 10 kilo ohm thermistor. A set point greater than 0.4 volts resets the failsafe circuit. We are using a 2 amp thermoelectric and will set the limits to plus and minus 1 amp. To set the heating current limit, a set point above ambient is required. Turn the T-set trim pot clockwise until the set T-mon voltage is 0.8 volts, equivalent to 30 degrees C. Adjust the Limby trim pot clockwise until the ammeter reads 1 amp. Similarly, a set point below ambient is needed to configure the cooling current limit. Adjust the T-set trim pot such that the multimeter reads 1.36 volts, equivalent to 18 degrees C. Adjust the Lim-A trim pot until the voltmeter reads negative 1 amp. With the limit set, we now adjust the temperature set point to the operational temperature of 20 degrees C. The ammeter can be removed at this point. Please note that the procedure for wiring up a resistive heater is different and can be found in the datasheet. With the temperature control configured, we are now ready to turn to the laser diode driver circuit. The current limit is initially set with the driver in constant current mode. Set the mode switch to CC. Then set the reference source for the laser current set point. We will use the onboard I-set trim pot, so the LD-REF dip switch must be set to internal. Tie the LD shutdown pin to ground. Next, connect the laser diode test load to laser diode anode and laser diode cathode. We are now ready to enable laser diode current by setting the laser output switch to enable. The LD enable LED will illuminate green. There are monitors for laser forward current and photodiode current. Both monitor signals are available at all times, regardless of whether the driver is operating in constant current or constant power mode. We want to operate at 350 milliamps with a maximum current of 375 milliamps. The LD-IMON transfer function for the LDTC0520 is 250 milliamps per volt. We will set the limit current first. 
Connect the multimeter to LDI Mon and Common. Turn the iSet trim pot fully open 12 turns clockwise. Now, adjust the iLim trim pot clockwise until the voltmeter reads 1.5 volts. The limit is now set at the maximum allowed current of 375 milliamps. Next, the set point must be configured. Still monitoring LDI Mon, turn the iSet trim pot down until the voltage is 1.4 volts. Now the set point is 350 milliamps. Disable the output current and switch off the power supply. The LDTC is now fully configured for local control. To vary the set point with time, we attach a function generator to ext LD set. It expects a signal from 0 to 2 volts. When using an external set point signal, the onboard iset trim pot setting is ignored. Move the LD ref dip switch to the external position and attach the function generator to ext LD set and ground. The modulation transfer function in constant current mode is also 250 milliamps per volt. We set our function generator to produce a 1.4 volt peak-to-peak -peak sawtooth signal at 20 Hz. This gives a maximum output current of 350 milliamps. Use an oscilloscope to monitor the laser diode output, again using LDI Mon. The iLim setting remains from the previous section. Enable the laser diode current. To see the impact of the current limit on this external set point, turn the iLim trim pot counterclockwise until the top of the sawtooth wave becomes flattened. The output current will not increase beyond the limit. That's it. Now you're ready to hook up your laser diode for a complete system with integrated temperature control. If you need more laser diode drive current, the LDTC22 is available with up to 2 amps of output. There's more useful information in the datasheet and on our website. If you need complete, precise, reliable laser system control, the LDTC series offers many advantages. Consider us an extension of your team.